All right, Rob here from MyPPCTraining.com, and in today's video, we're going to walk through the correct structure of an AdWords campaign and exactly how it should be set up and scaled up. Okay, fellows and ladies, so you should be logged into your AdWords account, and you'll be over here. You should see the campaign you want to be in for today's example. We are still going to be using our XYZ roofer campaign. If you remember, and if you watch previous videos, we built this campaign as a, uh, a test dummy. It's basically a Philadelphia roofing company. And uh, just, just kind of to walk people out through the steps on how to set up an AdWords campaign in the new interface. So today we're going to be using this. So log into your account that you want to have set up correctly. And you should be in the overview here and see your campaign overview. First things first, let's just get right to it. Let's just go right into it. So let's go into ad groups. Now, ad groups, here's a problem we see with almost everybody that we do an audit for. They have one ad group with a bunch of random keywords in it, okay? So tip number one, you have to have multiple ad groups. And the ad groups have to have very tightly themed keywords with tightly themed ads about those keywords going to a landing page that's tightly themed about those that ad group and those ads and keywords, okay? So if we go into our Philadelphia, you can see we're in our Philadelphia Roofers ad group. As you can see, all of our keywords in this ad group have the words Philadelphia Roofing, whatever, contractors, company, affordable Philadelphia Roofers. It's all very tightly themed to Philadelphia Roofing keywords, okay? And that's how every ad group of your campaign should be. And if you go to our ads, Philadelphia roof, Roofers, Philadelphia Roof Repair, local Philadelphia Roof Repair. See, you got to keep everything in sync, all right? Now, the landing page, we didn't even really do the landing page because it was a test just like a test example thing for the account so don't worry about that right now when I'm gonna go to that but the landing page that this should go to would be all about Philadelphia roofing contractor and what the what your company's about or the clients company's about or whatever okay and so that's that's pretty much the steps you gotta follow all right it's not that difficult but most people get it wrong so let's come back out to our ad group club you can see we built a few ad groups so we have one for Philadelphia roofers one for flat roofing one for commercial roofing. If you go into any one of these, you can see what's going on here. Oop, we're in the wrong one. Flat roofers, that's where we're So flat roofing, this is um, all keywords with flat roofing contractor stuff. Commercial roofing, I forgot. We just cloned that in our example video and did never change that. So if you're following what I'm saying, we should remove these keywords. And we would drop in commercial roofers or whatever commercial roofing keywords so for example sake we'll just put that in there so then this would go to ads that are all about commercial roofing to a landing page that's specifically mentioning and talking about commercial roofing and your commercial roofing services all right so you kind of get what I'm what I'm going with here and this is the one of the biggest mistakes we see almost everybody making besides targeting mistakes so it's very very important that you have your your campaign broken up into ad groups with tightly themed keywords, ads going to a landing page that's relevant to what the traffic is that's coming to it through the ads. So very, very important. Next we have our ad extensions, which I don't think we have set up in this account. So you come up here, you go to ads and extensions, you come up here, go into extensions. Yeah, we don't have it set up. And you would just go through and the four the four core ad extensions that you should have set up are site link, call out, structured snippet, and call extensions. And I'm going to put a video where I go through all of these and what they are and how to set them up in the description below this video, okay? So you can check that out and you'll see how to set them all up. So but you want to have these four minimum in every single campaign you do and you want to do them at the campaign level. Now just for just so you know what I'm talking about, I'll go into one when you're setting them up and I explain all this in the video that's in the description. You want to choose, I'll give you an option to choose to set it up at the account, campaign, or ad group level. You want to set it up at the campaign level always for right now, okay? If you're a beginner, this is just the easiest way to do it so you don't get confused. So this is kind of like the 30,000 foot view of how you should structure a campaign. So you got your ad groups, keywords, ads, landing page, all in sync, all broken up. And obviously if this was a real campaign, I would have at least 10 or 15 ad groups okay so if you guys have any questions about structuring a campaign with ad groups keywords ads and landing pages 
This is just a real quick video. It's not very advanced stuff. It's just simple. So I just try to break it down as easy as possible for you to understand. If you have questions or want to see more advanced stuff, advanced setup, just let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure you subscribe to our channel, give me a thumbs up on this video, and check out the description links. I dropped the link to the other video where I talk about how to set up the ad, ad extensions and stuff like that. We went to our Facebook group. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video.